Welcome back to the channel, everybody. As you can tell by the title, uh, today we're making the kitchen for my trailer. Real quick, I know it's a long video, so I'm jumping in right here at the beginning. I need your input and I need your answers if you have any for me. So uh, there's chapters, so you can skip to the last one if you can't watch the whole video right now and just leave me your comment on uh, my questions and I would appreciate it quite a bit. All right, back to the video. Thanks, peace, bye. And we're gonna jump right into it because I've already measured, I've already designed this. I've actually had it designed for a couple weeks, few weeks, almost a month now. But let me show you the plan. So my predicament is that originally I planned for my kitchen to run from the back wall to here. This is the mark of where my mattress uh, can be scrunched up. So that would give me the most kitchen. Um, but the issue is if you look, it's gonna cover the window slightly. What I think I'm going to end up having to do is just run my kitchen from here to like here, I have to overlap just a bit. So I am using half inch uh, sanded plywood. I wanna keep the weight down and this should be structural enough. We will have some three quarter inch sprinkled in there for uh, certain pieces. And then uh, we're gonna use this quarter inch because hopefully I'm gonna be able to make some drawers. I've never done it before. We're gonna give it a shot. And then I also found this website. Uh, I'll link it in the description if I remember. It's called Cut List Optimizer. Basically you put in all of your cuts here and then it's gonna walk you through what is the most efficient way uh, to use all of this. So down here, I'm just gonna say, okay, first cut, they tell me rip this piece in half, next cut is that piece and uh, so on and so forth. So we're gonna jump right into it and see how this goes. Life hack from other people on YouTube. You get just like a four by eight, sheet of this foam and uh, cut it in half or thirds so you can store it easier. You can just lay your plywood down on it. Just cut right through. I mean, that's, that's the problem I was about to run into. That's why I stopped. Just the best YouTuber you've ever seen here. Success. Now to avoid getting parts mixed up, I'm going to write on all of them somewhere. I probably should do it relatively consistent on all pieces that I know of, of what they are. So this piece I know is relatively last, so I'm just gonna put this away. All right, so this is uh, the back plate of our kitchen um, that faces the inside of the cabin. I wanted it to be in two pieces versus one big one. Easy to put in uh, is what I'm hoping. Now we have the final uh, piece of this and here's all the cuts we have planned here. As you can see, we're at, we have to make cut four. We have 22 total cuts to make off of this one sheet and this is gonna show us how to rip it uh, to be the most efficient. And everything I can do here, hopefully, can be done on the table saw, because that's more accurate than I am. So using that website, it tells me this needs to be converted in this, it's like 6.1, um, it needs to come down to four inches. So, move this down to four. Now I can run this through. Now give me a four inch rip, and then, uh, I can just set it to my other dimension and run those through. And uh, I don't have to touch a circular saw because that gives uh, more options for me to mess it up.
table saws are scary. I think one of the things I struggle with when making a video about something I'm building is whether it should be more educational or entertaining. So I'm not the best at any of this because I mean everybody can learn from somebody else but I don't know if I'm exactly the right person that people should learn this stuff from. Uh, you know there's YouTubers out there with better knowledge, better equipment, Okay, I think I can save it. Woodworkers everywhere watching this video in disgust right now. I have my frame cut. Basically, since all of this is, you know, flooring, it's not real wood. I wanted to create a frame where I can then drill into and be secure. The right vertical here, we'll do a little test fit. It should be a very snug fit. We're gonna have to notch it out, but just wanted to test height wise. Yeah, pretty much. So I'm gonna have to notch it out here for my strut, and then we'll cut a hole uh, for the vent, but this is going to slide all the way up against here. So we're going to mark this out, cut this out, and then slide this right in. We will have some overlap on there, but I don't really care. <laughs> So we have our side piece in. We do have slight overlap, which is preventing this from being flush against the wall here. So I could notch it out. I haven't decided yet, um, but the right side is in as well. So now this should be a snug, but good fit. Yep, and just a little love tap with the hammer. Yep. I've decided I am going to notch this out on the window frame. So as you see, we do have some overlap, both sides. I'm gonna mark that up. It's gonna be relatively covered, so I don't have to be perfect with it, but ideally I would like to be better than not. Same thing. Just a little too close. Just gotta shave it down. I have a, a bad history with hole saws and drills because I actually broke my wrist. Well, I tore. It's called your TFCC. So I tore, you can see the scar, kind of, right there. So I didn't know how I did it. And the doctor said, you can get it like if you're using a drill and it snaps and jerks your wrist. And that's happened to me many times because I'm not great and I'm impatient. So that's why I'm, I mean, I don't know if you can see my hands, but I'm using a very weird stance here to protect my wrist. Keep the drill from jerking. Dude, I don't know what it is, but this thing just doesn't cut through like you think it would. I know it's a lot, but still. Huh. That was more work than it should have been. One side is in. Other side is not in, but... Nice. Uh, bottom and top, and then we start building out the inside. All right, well, uh, bottom, sides, top, all in, 
it's always annoying because it's been five hours uh, and this is all I've gotten done so far so it's just one of those things where uh, it just takes time getting all the little details of this cut and screws behind it these holes pocket holes notches for my latch down here just yeah it just always adds up also one of the advantages of half inch is I can actually pick this up with one hand versus you know three quarter inch would be a lot more difficult and oh, it's a tight fit I'll probably have to cut this down just a bit but that's gonna go there and I think I said 17 because I was thinking if you're here cooking which now looking at it I may need to raise the trailer up again um, 17 puts about here for cooking height so I'm trying to think that's probably pretty good 17 yeah probably probably 17 this piece is 16 so just about this height yeah it's about good I like that 17 up 23 and a hair above 3 8 okay do this line down the way keep it accurate for me just like that so uh, we're gonna have a tabletop come across that mounts into this so it's not even gonna be that big of an issue um, support wise everything's gonna be bolted together so structurally everything should be pretty sound of course if I hit a bump on the road everything could change very quickly the goal is to make something that looks pretty good will it turn out that way who knows I always debate recording these things and then uploading them before I do the next part that way Someone who knows more than me can leave a comment and I can learn from it uh, because what happens is I'll do something and then someone, I'll, you know, I'll do the next one and someone will be like, you know, if you just did this, 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 it'd be easier. And I'm like, oh, you're right. And uh, I miss out on that ability to take advantage of that. But it is what it is. All right, next piece, 13 inches. stab myself all right so this is somewhat the vision um, I just put this piece on just to kind of give myself a visual example um, it's a little higher than I thought I guess because I forgot to account for a three-quarter inch tabletop but I think it's still gonna be fine we're gonna have a sink on this side uh, and then we're gonna have these four gallon water jugs uh, which this is actually a tight fit. This is gonna be some fun for future hobby. I, I don't know, the measurements are a little tight, but the goal is to have one filled with water, one uh, be the drain. If that works, it may not work, I don't know. I may figure something else out. I may put the drain to the outside and then just pull this out and put it outside when it's time. 
who knows? Drawer, 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 tabletop. And then I do have in the plans for a shelf here. Uh, that probably will come to fruition because I'm thinking of like, you know, I can 3D print everything I can think of. So I could 3D print like spice racks or uh, utensil holders or basically anything. Um, then we'll have to add lighting, of course, along with electrical for the pump. It, it's a lot. We have a lot to go. So we're going to keep moving. It's time to build some drawers. Hopefully it goes well. After a lot of cutting, we have all of our drawers cut out. Uh, these are our small drawers, big drawers. The plan is to use quarter inch sheet for the bottom of the drawers. So I'm going to take all of these, cut a slot in them, and hopefully make drawers that I've never done before. So I'm going to try make one drawer and cut about halfway into it. Yeah, about halfway probably. I'm just going to cut a slot. We'll do that on all four sides. And I cut the, the small sheet and slide it in and hopefully that creates a drawer. So I probably should move it up a bit more. So believe it or not, it's actually a perfect fit. That's pretty good. All right, so I'm going to do all of all these pieces and we'll test the structural rigidity of the drawer because I do have a very small amount of wood down here so I don't want to make it too too rough The idea that this is a bottom plate for the drawer. Side pieces, both sides. And we're actually going to drill some pocket holes on these side pieces so that the face plate can be attached and removed in case this ever needs to be slid in and out. So if this needs to be replaced, we want to make that relatively a relatively simple process. Put our back plate on. Slide that back to align with my back plate. I want that to be even. That. Now just my front piece. I don't know if I have enough hands to always do this right, but there's probably some clamp or jig for it. I don't have it, but there probably is. Make sure everything's square. Don't want that to be off. So in the rear, I'm using the nail gun. If there's a better way to do this, please let me know. Boom. That's a drawer. Quick little update. Big drawer one, big drawer two. All small drawers. We're gonna put them in and get the drawer slides mounted up and let me show you the vision we're using as much space as physically possible. Drawer one, drawer two, one, two, three, four. With my quarter inch gap, um, my top piece is going to be extremely close. Um, so to put this in perspective, right here, we have eight and uh, seven sixteenths and our total is 17 inches so I will have a one eighth of an inch to spare I now just have to figure out my drawer slides here 
where I want these to go. These are 16 inch, they say 16 inch drawer slides, actually about 15 and 11 16 which is crucial because this entire thing here is 15 and three quarters from front to rear for our back piece. So this is legitimately as large as I could go. Okay, simple enough. Nice and snug. What I'm doing is I have my quarter inch wood spacer and I'm just going to mount this right here. All right, Do the same thing on the other side. Should I be testing if this thing's level? There's a drawer. Now I just gotta do that five more times. So now in theory, since that drawer is level below and this is sitting on that drawer, this should be level. And it's, uh, it's pretty close. That's tolerances, baby. By tolerance is apparently not enough. Oh. Let's see. No, that's, that's good enough. I said, there's no way to open the lower drawer at the moment, but I can drill a hole or remove it or I can do anything. I have all the options. These drawers took me so much longer than I anticipated. I anticipated them taking a while just because my history of drawers, but they are definitely taking their time. But yeah, it still looks good. Still working. I think it looks pretty good, to be honest. I mean, this may not work, but uh, I can, I can, I can solve that problem in the future. The rest of this, I mean, I just got to put some type of handle thing. But all the rest of them. Well, that's interesting. They're all touching the drawer. Well, that is interesting. How that happened? What's going on here? They come out together fine, but they drag each other as well. So if you see, our gap up here is good. Um, depending on the back though, it starts rubbing on the one below it because I leveled the drawers on gravity and I leveled these on the trailer and the trailer Oh, I level the trailer out here. I don't know if you, have, yeah, you can see that. Trailer's not level. So I have to level all these drawers on that level or I have to level the trailer and then level that. So I'm gonna do that and uh, I'll come back. I got my alignment right. So now they free open without hitting the drawer above them. Um, this could change depending on if there's weight in them. That's going to be something to check. As you can see, we have a very tight, tight tolerance on those back corners. So, I said this can be adjusted um, as time goes on. So, it's just going to be a testing thing. We still have a tabletop to put on. I'm going to get these two drawers in real quick. It's coming along. We have two drawers and then... The back plates, the tabletop. Um, let me think what else I got. Back plates, tabletop, sink, plumbing. 
Ah, uh, those, those are the little things. I guess the tabletop's not a little thing. I haven't, I haven't decided exactly what I want to do with it because I don't want to spend $95 on sanded plywood for the tabletop because it's just slightly too long for a four by two sheet. I figure that's probably relatable to somebody, but yeah, it is what it is. y'all's ankle real quick. Something's a little off. A little wonky looking. Oh yeah, that's better. That's it, chief. These are... Well, they're not perfect, but they are good enough. Decided I need to stop with the drawers because they keep messing with them. So it's time to put a back plate on, which I obviously should have cleaned the area before I did brought all this in. Okay, it's not bad. Okay, that's on there. I'll find sawdust in this trailer till the day I die. And then I'll have to see, I think I have the gap to 3D print a special adapter over on this left side to keep it supported over here to keep it off the drawer. I probably could. Use a circular saw for this cut, and I don't want to. Yeah, maybe it's not bad. So this is on so let's see we're on this post here don't know what that was this one's a little low but we can just kind of squeeze it on there because i think this piece of wood may be slightly bent and then over here we're touching the drawer so i think if i flip this over let's just see just out of curiosity if this piece of wood is slightly off Yeah, it was. We're in the trailer. Got a tabletop on. Not permanent, uh, but working on it. This is what we gotta do. This is our sink. This is a 15 inch bar sink. Sorry, my neighbors have their yard done. Um, just make our mark. Just me and my jigsaw going to town. Weight reduction. No, no 
that's it. That's a sink. Comes with these clips here. That they drop into the channel. Probably do not need all of these then. It's not exactly a big sink. Ow. I hate flatheads. This is gonna drop in. It doesn't fit at the moment. It's a little tight. It's a pressure fit right now, which is exactly how it needs to be. I will say half inch plywood makes moving a lot easier. I mean, the goal is to keep it lightweight because I have a Tacoma that can tow all of 12 pounds nicely. And while I do love my truck, it's not exactly good at towing. I'm losing daylight, which is kind of crazy because I started this project, well, I started this project yesterday. I started this part of the project this morning. I expected, actually I expected to put this be done with this piece that we're doing now. So, maybe. Stay. Maybe we'll be on track. This is why I wanted two pieces. But now I'm thinking maybe I should have done three. Oh. This is gonna go up here. I down my are in the way. Oh, that does not sound good. Yeah. <laughs> oh. No. Okay, I have an idea. I don't think it's going to work, but it's one of the ideas ever made. progress, I think. Oh, ho, ho. I think if I take this ring off of the windows, it'll work. So I'm going to do that. I'm not going to record it because I need to go quick. So I 3D printed this router guide so I could get these handles consistent for each handle so it all looks good and works great. So that's nice to see. Um, and then I 3D printed these brackets, which are kind of three-way, three-wall brackets, along with some other ones uh, to mount this sink. This is the faucet we're running. It's just kind of like a, a bar sink faucet that's gonna fit and I'm gonna put this underneath okay there's that this part pretty self-explanatory just the drain this is not gonna be permanent this is just gonna be a temporary Thing. This is just to get all my mock fits up before I make everything permanent. I think I want to tuck my pump as high as possible, so I'm going to leave this tube connected um, so I can see if I'm kinking, I'm bending it too much. clamp.
plug this sucker back in. So it's primed right now, uh, 35 PSI, and look at that. And now it should stop itself. Like I said, it is 35 PSI, but yeah. Look at that water pressure. Oh, it's probably too much. That's great though. So here is the end result. We have our four drawers that, you know, wonderful. Yeah, look at that. We have this piece here, which I'm not super happy about. It's ugly, but I don't have another solution for my latch. So that's what I've got. Two large drawers. I'm thinking I can put anything in there that I want. I do have to create some type of door here. I'm thinking of putting a piece that folds up. That way I have more table space, maybe usable table space. So if I'm like cooking here, I could maybe put something here. Wishful thinking at the moment, but I mean, we have the faucet, the faucet works. Uh, we do just need to, hello, just need to probably tighten that down. But overall, it's all coming together. And this is where I need your help. I need to know if you have any suggestions for me. Should I paint it? Should I stain it? I don't know because I've never done this before and I, I don't have a ton of experience with a kitchen outside with wood. So I'm not sure if it should be stained or if it should be painted, if it should match this or should it be a some different color with backsplash? I don't know. And I want you to tell me in the comment section below so I don't have to think about it. But overall, it's pretty, it's pretty built. I do have to take the trailer out once it's painted, stained, or whatever it is, and see if it all falls apart when I hit a bump. But I think it may be structural at this point. Maybe. So anyway, I'd like to thank you for watching. Please let me know in the comment section below what I should do. And I will see you in the next video. Peace out.